Hey everyone, I'm Sarah and I'll be guiding us through this immune boosting HAPA sequence. Today we'll be focusing on stimulating our lymph nodes, which are super important as they play a significant role in defending our bodies against bad bacteria and help to eliminate toxins. So if you're feeling under the weather or just looking to prepare yourself for the winter months ahead, come join me on the mat and we'll begin. Starting today, standing at the top of your mat, keeping your feet about hip width distance apart. Just beginning to really ground and root down into your mat. Gently begin to close your eyes or bring a soft gaze. Just allow your arms to hang heavy. Allowing your shoulders to relax down away from your ears. And just beginning to connect with your breath. Just connecting with that sense of grounding. We notice the feet, all the four corners. Just notice and see if you can evenly distribute the weight between the big toe and the baby toe. And you're not leaning too far forward or too far back. You're somewhere in between. We're starting our class, nice and tall on our mat. And then we're going to come down quite low, down towards the ground. That's for this immune boosting class today. We're going to be working, stimulating our lymph nodes, which are mostly located in the neck, the armpits, the abdomen and the groin. I'm going to keep our focus with our breath. Move nice and slowly. Really tune in. See what's going on. Gently begin to drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. Find a nice opening to the left side of the neck. I'm going to bring our left arm to take hold of the right arm behind you. Get a deeper opening, a deeper stretch. Drop the shoulders, allowing them to become heavy. Begin to tilt the head forward. So you begin to drop the gaze down to the mat. Seeing that opening to the back of the neck. And begin to draw the head towards the center. So you're dropping the head, tilting straight down. You feel a nice opening up to the back, to the spine, to the crown of the head. Gently tilt the head towards the left. You can swap arms now. So taking hold of the left arm with the right hand. Drop and soften from the shoulders. Then begin to tilt the head. So your left ear rests towards the left shoulder. Sending the breath to any different areas of discomfort or tightness. Then we're going to begin to roll the head back. This is only if it's okay in your neck. Begin to roll the head back. So you're looking up towards the ceiling, opening up into the throat. You can release the hands down as you gently begin to roll the head. So the right ear rests towards the right shoulder. And bring your head back to center. You can blink the eyes open or if you want, you can keep your eyes closed for most of this class today. Totally depends on how you're feeling. So we're going to interlace our fingers as we press our hands away from us. Begin to draw the arms up and overhead so the palms face up towards the sky. Drop the shoulder blades down so it's a nice length through the sides of the body. Inhale. As we exhale, begin to bring the arms over to the right and kick the left hip 
over towards the left. Opening deeply through the left side of the body, into the armpit. Stay with your breath. Inhale, back to center and over to the left. Keeping that opening through the side of the body and your awareness with your breath. Inhale, back to center, release the hands down. Bring the hands to rest onto the shoulders. It's going to begin to shrug the shoulders, just bring some nice movement. Feeling each movement and reversing your nice shoulder rolls. And then release from here. We're going to make our way to a forward fold, but we're going to do it really, really slowly. So you want your upper body to be completely weightless. So keep your feet hip with distance apart if they weren't there already. Make sure that you have a soft or deep bend in your knees. You want to support the lower back. Gently begin to hug the lower belly and the abdomen. Just a very slight awareness. We're not squeezing in, just you have a nice awareness. It's going to support your lower back. Allow the shoulders and the arms to become really heavy. Then begin to drop forward. Just very, very gently, we're going to begin to fold down one vertebrae at a time, folding forward. Your arms are hanging like a rag doll. There's no tension or effort in the upper body. You come down into your deep forward fold. Your knees as deeply bent as you need. And take a breath. Maybe take hold of opposite elbow and just begin to gently rock side to side. Checking in with the lower back, hamstrings. Just noticing where it's a little bit stiff or tight. Release the grip of the arms. We're going to bring the hands back behind the lower back. Interlace the fingers as you draw the arms away from the body. So you want to be squeezing the shoulder blades together. Nice opening through the chest. Allow the head to hang heavy as the arms begin to fold and drop. Maybe towards the front of the room. After your next exhale, we're going to begin to bend deeply into the right knee. So the right shoulder begins to come over to meet the right knee. Don't worry if it doesn't go anywhere near it. You just want to keep an eyes open through the chest. So maybe you begin to lock up towards the left. Inhale, come back to your center. Bend into the left knee. Lock up to the right. And back to center. Once again, bend into the right, lock to the left. Nice twist in the belly. And bend once again, twisting over to the right. Gently bring the arms back and release the hands. You can shake side to side or make any movement that you need. This time we're going to bend as deeply into the knees so you can place both hands onto the mat. We're going to step back into our first downward facing dog but keeping a deep bend in the knees. Bring the right leg towards the back of the mat and the left to meet it. Press the hips towards the back of the room. Bring the shoulder blades away from the ears. We're going to bring our right knee into our belly. And set it down into the middle of the mat. I'm going to bring the left leg to wrap around the right leg. And begin to sit back through the legs. Coming down into our cow face pose. Sitting up nice and tall. You can just make any movements or adjustments you need here. This is too tight on your hips. You can always extend the bottom leg nice and long on the mat. Or if you're here, rest your hands onto the feet. 
draw the shoulder blades down the back, close the eyes and just settle in. We're going to begin to reach the right hand up and overhead, bend at the elbow. So the right hand bends down, elbows nice and high, keeping that opening to the chest. Bring the left hand to reach it up and overhead. Take hold of the elbow with the left hand, keeping that opening. And we begin to soften and round the spine. And inhale, open back up. Either stay here, or if you feel you can take a little bit deeper, bring the left hand back behind you and see if you can clasp both fingertips together. Make sure that we're not hunching over. If you are here, you wanna make sure that you can really open through the chest. Just to give you a better sense of an opening. Very deep for the shoulders and the chest. And stay here for three breaths. So you inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And last one. Inhale and exhale. Gently release both hands. Releasing the arms, you can shrug out the shoulders. We're gonna come over the knees and we're gonna step our way back into our downward facing dog. Bringing the legs out behind you, moving nice and slowly. Press your way back into your downward facing dog. Shake out the hips. Then we'll make our way into the next side. So we're bringing our left knee to rest into the center of the mat, wrapping this time our right leg around the left. Bring the sitting bones back to the feet, sitting up nice and tall. Take a moment here once again. Find your grounding. Coming to where you need to be. And begin to bring the left arm up and overhead, bending at the elbow, wrapping the hand down the back. Bring the right hand to rest onto the left elbow. Gently round. Inhale, open up. Feeling this into the armpit. Feeling the, the opening to the chest. Maybe you want to bring the right hand down behind the back. Maybe you can interlace the fingers. Open the chest. And we'll be here for three more breaths. So you inhale and exhale. And inhale, and exhale. Last one. Inhale, and exhale. Gently release the arms. Back around from wherever you are. I'm gonna bring the hands back in front of you. And step back into your downward facing dog. Shake off the hips if you need. We're going to make our way now into Sphinx Pose from here. Drop down onto the knees. Allow the legs to come nice and long as you draw and sink the belly towards the mat. Walk the arms out in front of you. Elbows rest under the shoulders. Belly hangs heavy towards the mat. Rolling the shoulder blades back away from the ears. You can stay in your Sphinx Pose as you are, or if you want to work into the throat, you can begin to drop the head back. So you softly look up towards the sky.
connecting with your breath. Opening up the front side of the body. Either stay here or if you feel you can take it deeper. Bring the hands over to the corners of the mat and begin to lift the forearms away from the mat. Keep the shoulder blades back away from the ears. And again, you can begin to look up, see if that's okay in your neck. And connect with your breath. And we'll gently release. Coming back down to Sphinx. If you're not there already, make a little pillow out of your hands. Place one hand on top of the other. Walk your elbows over to the edges of the mat. And rest your forehead down. And take a moment. Maybe shaking the hips left or right. Shaking out any tension. We're going to bring our hands in line with our shoulders. We're going to press ourselves up, making our way to lying flat on the mat. You can just sweep the legs out in front of you. We're going to come down onto our backs, keeping the feet planted on the mat, walking down. Just take a moment here, hands resting on the lower belly. Feet are grounded, rooted, connecting with the mat. Soften the shoulders. Bring your hands behind your head. We're going to interlace our fingers and make a pillow out of our hands and rest the head into the hands. You feel a nice opening into the armpits and move up into a bridge pose from here. So making sure that we're grounded and rooting firmly with both feet. I'm going to begin to gently tilt the pelvis forward and back, beginning to bring some movement into the lower spine, bringing movement into the abdomen. While we work and open up through the armpits. And on your next exhale, we're going to begin to pick up the hips so the sitting bones come away from the mat, coming up into our bridge pose, up into a nice inversion, grounding your both feet evenly, tucking the tailbone under, sending the hips high. We'll take a couple of breaths here. See if you can pick the hips up a little bit higher. Lovely and very gently begin to release vertebrae by vertebrae, coming flat down onto the mat. Picking up one knee at a time, hugging into the belly. Rocking side to side or forward and back with the knees. We're going to come into a twist from here. I'm going to take hold of both legs with the left arm, hugging, putting the arm around the legs. We're going to bring the right arm, either keep the long extended away from the body, or you can bend the arm into cactus if you don't have that much space. We're going to begin to draw the legs over to the left as we come into our twist. Dropping the legs down towards the ground. You can bring the left arm either out long away from the body into cactus or maybe you want to bring it up and overhead. Just stretch a little bit deeper into the armpit, into the chest. And just soften everything. Soften the muscles of the belly. Soften the shoulders, trying to get a sense of grounding and connecting the shoulders with your mat. So 
Taking your last breath. And we'll make our way back to center. As we pick up the legs, hugging them back in towards the body, squeezing in. And take hold of the legs this time with our right arm wrapping around. Bring your left arm to rest down, maybe into cactus, as you begin to drop the legs over to the right. You can bring the right arm up and overhead. Just to rest wherever feels right for you. And once you're there, soften down. Feeling that twist in the muscles of the belly. To the base of the spine. Allowing the hips to be heavy. And the toes to relax. And then gently come back to center. And hug the knees back in. Embracing the legs. Squeezing in. Massaging the lower spine as you rock side to side. And from here, making our way into our happy baby pose. Allow the knees to drop out to the side, bring the hands to take hold of the outer edges of the feet. I'm going to begin to kick the feet up towards the sky as you drop the knees down towards the armpits. If this is a little bit too intense, you can take hold with the backs of the knees and draw the knees down towards the ground. Maybe rock side to side or forward and back. You're a happy baby. That's massaging out the lower spine, getting a bit of an opening into the groin area. Drawing the knees down, pressing the feet away. Last breath and release. Hug the knees into the body. And from here, we're going to make our way into our Shavasana. You need to extend the legs long on the mat, extending the arms alongside the body. Palms facing up towards the sky. Shoulders nestled under the body. Beginning to notice the different parts, the different points of the body. Connecting with the mat. Noticing the support. That your mat, the earth beneath you, gives you. Allow the arms and the legs to be heavy. Allow the muscles on the face to soften and release. Forehead, cheeks and the jaw. Shoulders are heavy. Fingers naturally curl. And this is where I'm going to leave you today, in your Shavasana. Thank you very much for joining me for today's class. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you again very soon on the mat. Namaste.